Hey guys, Cody Wilson of the AssistantCoach.net. Um, yesterday on uh, Facebook, I saw a discussion come up about uh, pulling your guards on blocking schemes, and if uh, you know pulling both guards made it buck sweep or not, or what happens if you pull the guard in the center. And I commented and I kind of gave my opinion there, and um, you know I thought it'd be good to share with you guys. And uh, what it is, is um, I think about blocking in different families and try to make things um, same, same as possible. Try not to make very many differences and, and put them in families just like we did defensive families uh, a few weeks ago talking about categorizing defenses. I do the same thing. I'm very analytical and try to put things together that way. And when they're talking about pulling, I think of basically four main schemes where you would pull an offensive lineman blocking-wise. And that would be whether you're running power, counter, pin and pull, or like a sweep, uh, buck sweep, old, old school wing tee type play. And the basic fundamental is on power, you're going to pull one backside lineman. On pin and pull, you're going to pull a play side lineman. Uh, it could be two play side lineman in the right scenario, but it's about pulling a play side lineman. And then counter is about pulling multiple backside linemen or perhaps uh, just two backside blockers where it's a backside guard and perhaps a fullback on the backside. And then sweep is pulling both a play side and a backside lineman. And sometimes that could include uh, the center. So first, Let's look at power. Okay, on that power scheme, I've got a little 4-2 front and over front drawn up for you here. And on power, everybody knows we're looking for a double team, a kick out. And double teams go into the second backer in the box because we are blocking back and we are pulling through for the first linebacker in the box. That's why that first double team has a second guy in the box. If we had a second double team, they would have the next guy in the box. And then we're just sealing and hinging uh, the C-gap right here, excuse me, the B-gap on the back side. So that is power. Now, power doesn't always look like that, but that is a power scheme. You could be one of those spread guys that likes to run a lot of dart. And dart is really the same thing. The only difference is you don't have as many people in the play anymore. So instead of getting these double teams and everything that we have here uh, on dart, Many times, we would probably run it the other direction. On dart, we'll probably block here, double to the backside linebacker, base block, and he pulls through. And we'll probably read this guy in some way, shape, or form. But by definition, you're pulling one backside offensive lineman or one backside blocker. So that would still go into the power family of schemes for me. Now, counter is uh, very similar to that. Instead of pulling one, you're pulling two. So again, counter, we're probably going down to the backside linebacker. We're gonna take our time going down here. You don't wanna go in a hurry. We're gonna block down on this nose because we have leverage. We're gonna block back on the three tech and the guard is gonna pull and kick out the end. Now here's where you can have some variance. You could pull this tackle if you pull this tackle, I believe you almost have to read this end or you have to try to dig him out with this H back. The other option is, which I prefer if we're in 20 personnel and if we're not reading the end, is to seal the gap he's gonna punch and turn back here and have the H back come through. And he is now doing what the guard did on power and he is uh, pulling through for the first linebacker in the box. Now, I oftentimes teach power and counter is the same play and just say the guard and the fullback are switching responsibilities. The way we had it drawn up first here with the fullback and he was kicking out the end, well, now we've got the uh, fullback and instead of kicking out the end, he's pulling for the linebacker. Instead of um, him kicking out the end, the guard is going to kick out the end. So they're two sides of the same coin. So um, it is counter because we're pulling two people from the back side, but really, uh, assignment-wise for everybody except those two guys, power and counter can be the same depending on the personnel that you're running it out of. Okay, secondly, or, or next, third, we've got pin and pull. Now, 
Over here for power and counter, we're talking about pulling one backside guy or two backside guys. On pin and pull, we're talking about pulling one guy, play side. So right here, we've got the tight end. He's going to block uh, this end the best way that he can. Hopefully, we got a guy that can block a little bit. But especially if he's inside and in what I like to call a 6-I, I know a lot of you guys will call it a 7, um, we're going to block down on him and try to pin him inside the best we can. But what we really need is a stalemate there. We've got the angle for the tackle to block down on the 3 technique, so we're going to do that. And that means that our play side guard can pull outside. Now, again, if this tight end gets stretched wide, he does have the ability he can turn up in here. And then backside, we're basically running zone. We're going to, if you want to step backside and secure that nose, you can. Otherwise, you can just go play side and work up to the linebacker. Guard, you're cutting off, and we're cutting off the backside linebacker here. And that is pin and pull. Now, pin and pull can look a whole lot of different ways, but versus this front, that's what it is. And right here, we're pulling the guard, but you could just as easily pull the tackle. And it is possible if you have enough uh, if you have a long enough surface, meaning enough people on or near the line of scrimmage right here, it is possible to pull the center or even the tight end. That doesn't happen very often. If I mean, Very rarely would you pull the tight end, but it does happen sometimes that you pull the center if you have a guy who can pull and snap the ball at the same time. If you have one of those guys, they're special, and I would encourage you to take advantage of that skill that they have because there's not a lot of guys that can do it. Then buck sweep, old school buck sweep. I grew up playing in a wing T team, uh, and Gus Malzahn is one of the guys who really keeps doing this, and he was a high school guy, and I believe he ran some wing T stuff back in Arkansas when he was a high school coach, and he's kept that over here with uh, Auburn. And the idea of a sweep play or a buck sweep is to pull play side and backside linemen. Here, I have it drawn up against a 3-2 front where we would try to double here almost like power to the backside linebacker and we will uh, base block or uh, cut off to the play side and both of these guys both the backside end and the nose and we're pulling and the pull is unique here because you want to get a little bit more depth here and try to kick out uh, with that play side guard and the backside guards a little shallower and he can pull up here or depending on how it's going, he can come outside trying to get to that first backer in the box. Uh, again, there's a lot of different ways that can look. Uh, the play that was in question earlier today that made me uh, think about this was pulling both guards and the center. Um, possible, probably not many times I would want to do that, but if you have the athletes and a unique enough front, hey, go for it. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope maybe uh, you can consider putting your schemes and plays and stuff into families like this and again power we're pulling one backside blocker counter we're pulling two backside blockers pin and pull is a play side blocker perhaps two play side blockers in sweep or buck sweep you're pulling one both backside and front side again uh, if you like this uh, please like thumbs up share uh, all that good stuff uh, like the page um, Share, try to help me get the word out. I'm going to try to make videos like this and post them uh, every Thursday. And uh, we're still learning as we go here. I've done, I don't know, maybe six, seven of these uh, at this time. So um, if you have any feedback, uh, please let me know in the comments, uh, whether it's about the video, the kind of content we're doing, if it's about the families of blocking schemes that we have here that are gap related because all these are gap related because we're pulling somebody let me know i want to make this interactive i want to do stuff that helps you guys out all right again cody wilson of the assistant coach peace